Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today card five in my high five kit card series featuring a honeycombed shaped card. Welcome back to all of my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. If you have yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing so you can be notified when new videos go up on the channel. Liking, commenting, all that stuff helps the channel to grow. I started by folding my piece of paper. So I think it was a four, four inches wide. It must have been a four inch wide piece of paper by eight and a half. It was a scrap from when I did my card bases. And so I have a stack sitting by my die cut machine. And they work wonderfully for doing slim lines and or shaped cards like this. So I'm starting by inking up that largest honeycomb shape on the stencil. I'm going to start with the salvaged patina as my base color here. And then bring in, clean my actual stencil better because I didn't clean it when I was done with it last time. And then I'm going to bring in some peacock feathers for my mid-tone here. And then to add in some darker variations, I'm bringing in that new Uncharted Mariner. Does that color blend not look beautiful or what? Mm, 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 mm. This is probably my favorite honeycomb color because it's not really honeycomb colored. Uh, I have a love of blue greens and yeah, you know, it is what it is. So I'm lining up my die cut there on the fold line. If you saw me roll my eyes on camera, good job. You definitely saw the eye roll on camera because I caught it when I watched the replay, but I didn't catch it when I was actually doing it. So I die cut that out using one of honey, no, waffle flowers, honeycomb dies. It is a nesting sack, so there are many options and it goes from a fairly large size honeycomb all the way down to a teeny tiny one. So I like that one just because there's so many size options. And then I'm bringing in some of that glitter glaze pen that came with the kit and I'm just going to sporadically add glitter to some of these hive pieces with that biggest stencil. I could have probably used one of the other smaller stencils but you can't once you you know, once you glitter it, you'd have to wait for it to dry to glitter any other area if you were going to use a different stencil on it. So I stuck with the big one just so I had room to do it. And yes, this is when I realized I did not cut it on the fold. I was like, how did I get it on the lot? Like, I thought I didn't actually get it. Like, I cut on the fold, or I cut the fold off. But yeah, um, I hadn't actually. So I'm cutting my second one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did it again. No, I didn't do it again. I did it right the second time. But I just went with a larger hexagon from that nesting stack. And just figured, you know, sometimes you just got to roll with it. I loved how my original honeycomb had turned out. And so I just matted it with that aqua colored texture cardstock from Lawn Fawn and then popped this onto my car my new cardstock base that was actually cut out on the fold line. I could have also, you know, done the score line and put the front piece onto the back piece and folded it that way for the card. But since I messed up, I figured there was a reason, you know, for me to Reevaluate. Life throws us curveballs once in a while. Sometimes it's meant for good. So I did end up going a little off screen here. Sorry for that. I did just add my hive up on some foam squares and then the bee is on some foam squares as well. Adding in that little bee trail and then stamping my sentiment on the negative for that matte matted cardstock piece so my angle is going to line up to the side of my card here and then I don't actually have to cut anything off once that sentiment is on 
Work smarter, not harder. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I felt it needed just a little bit of something, not too much, but just something subtle. So I went with the Trinity Stamps Boiled Sugar Clear Hearts just to add that little bit. It doesn't really take away from the scene, and it just adds just a little bit of, I don't know, a finishing touch. So I did one big one and two smaller ones. And then I'm going to futz around with placement on these. Did they look fine where they originally were sitting? Yes. But did I futz around with them anyways? And did they look fine when I finished? Yep. And futzing is a word. You can look it up in the dictionary. It'll say it's one of Jamie's. It means fussy putzing. Futzing. Yep. That's, that's what we're going with. Fussy putzing. So I did pull in some MFT stamps here for my inside sentiment. I love the font. Font matters, right? So the font on these with the, the straight type and then the swirly, scrolly type. It's just, it is one of my favorite sweet sentiment sets. I will have that listed down below because I do not recall the name on the top of my head. So, and then I just added that honey dipper on the inside to pull in the bee theme from the outside of the card. And that is my finished, it's about a four inch, it's just under, so three and three quarter by three and three quarter, I do believe. So I'll probably throw it in an A2 size envelope for mailing. But thank you so much for sticking around with me today, and I hope you enjoyed today's card. Keep getting inky. Bye.